go to the proper HTTP web link, or you can go directly to the SolarEdge website, click on Monitoring Platform. Login section where you would enter your user sales activities. So we'll log in, and you can see your site list. So what we're going to go through is creating a new site, new site, and we'll be prompted to enter basic site information. So if I have a photograph of my installation, I could upload it here. Again, if you have it, Smith, <coughs> Smith. Put kilo, again, it's in kilowatts, but you can select your, your power. And if you have revenue calculations, um, you can define your revenue calculations. Basically what the system does is it takes the amount uh, installation date, that's typically the date of installation or first telemetry. Uh, some customers choose PTO, uh, permission map that I've um, documented during my installation of all the serial numbers of the optimizers. I can upload that here at this time. I can insert some basic notes where you want. It's an open text field. Scroll down here. The next thing it's asking for is the site address. And we can look at either, we can get a point on the map or by entering an address. That's there we it. go. So now we can. There we go. So we can select the site. We can move the icon so it sort of doesn't ob obscure the in this area. Okay. So okay. we can see so set, set location. That. So we can choose that. Um, oops. So there's there's our site address. So we've got the city, state. You can completed that. We're prompted to select next. All right, so now we're going to define a little bit about the installation. So we're going to select our module type. Um, we can select our module type. Let's choose uh, uh, two, five models, I guess. You select your module type, um, the inverter serial number. We would enter it at this point and serial number description. The specific serial number format that we're looking for the last two. Probably tell us that there's already one created. So once we've done that, we can create the new site. Go directly to the to the site level and start viewing the site, or you can add owners, like for example homeowners who may want to access the site, or you can just return back to your site list and then select it from your site list. Let's do that. Yeah, it'll go there. Now, so now, now, now we see it. Now registered a new site, which now shows up in our. Uh, 